Don't forget to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all our videos. Hello and welcome. So in this video we'll be talking about the comparison between Bootstrap 5 and Bootstrap 4. So the official version in alpha state was released on 16th of June 2020 and let's see what is new in this. So first of all jQuery was removed. It was having a huge dependency to have a lot of uh, like a moving parts in it. So but now the good news is that it is removed. Second is that we have our bootstrap have dropped the support for Internet Explorer 10 and 11. So now we can have more modern CSS uh, items which could be run in using bootstrap. Third one is an important and was an important one as well because the way new devices are coming out we needed a better way to handle the font sizes. So before there could be just a few four, five or six ways to handle the font sizes but now we have it based on the screen sizes. So now we have responsive font size which is a good thing. And lighter file size and a faster load or page loading. So let's go into the comparison. So if I go to the official websites, so on the left side we have bootstrap 5 and on the right we have bootstrap 4. We could even go back to 3 or whichever but right now we have the latest stable version okay if you go into the documentation the docs you need to go to components because this is what we care about and docs and component okay so one major thing which i saw was they have brought out the form before we had form inside of the component but they might have thought that it is a it is indeed a crucial thing but I don't know how it could help by bringing it outside but yes they have brought it outside they might be having some really solid reason for it okay so form is having its own section now and it is almost the same thing because if you see input group input group and a lot of other things like that so yeah this is form has is having its own component they have even one more thing is they removed jumbotron and it might not be having a good use because this is more like for to grab attention of any user something kind of an advertisement or something so yes right now we don't i don't see it at least in components i did try to look at it in somewhere else but yeah I couldn't find it so yeah, let's see jumbotron okay migration okay if you see where was it jumbotron is removed okay it is removed all right so now if you see the color is a bit changed I think not changed but maybe I should say enhanced of button if you it's a bit darker so that's one difference with the button here okay so if you look at the inspect element and if you do the same thing here might be a bit different see 0 d6 and this one is where was it okay 0 0 7 so button is has become a bit darker and apart from that I think most of the things are saying and yes one more important thing was about the nav bar that before they were having a property of of inline inline box yeah inline block not box inline block for having them in the same line uh, something like this mm, yeah to have them in the same line but now they are using flex for it which is a good thing flex was supposed to be the future so yes yeah, they have adapted it which is a great thing and yeah uh, one question for you guys that if you look at the form if you go into the input let's go into one of the input so you might have seen a lot of people using forms so there are these ways to use form right if you have if you have this in in line and there's another way which is you have the label on top and you have an input here 
and if you look at the material design things so you need to cl you click on it it takes the uh, like the label on the top so which one do you feel is better something like this I like this outline a bit more this looks more modern but some people say that they really like this one so let me know in the comment section which one do you like it okay and I was a big fan of bootstrap in around 2017 and I did give a lot of answers on Stack Overflow around 72 and out of which 20 were in Bootstrap 4. So I'm super excited about Bootstrap 5 and let me know what do you think. If you want to learn Bootstrap, also let us know in the comment section. Maybe we can create a video, a tutorial video for Bootstrap 5 so you get a better understanding. And if you want to have a kind of a personal learning with us, if you want us to teach you, also let us know in the comment section. We can figure something out. Okay, don't forget to like this video, share this video with your friends. It helps us a lot. So please don't forget to do that and support us. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.